This video will show you how to how I went about making this slightly larger than scale Golden Eagle. Um, the plane itself is made from a material called EPP, which is uh, short for expanded polypropylene and some carbon. This material was initially developed for car bumpers. Um, the first thing one starts uh, in a design like this is to choose an airfoil. In this case, I chose uh, an airfoil called a 23112-75. That's a plank wing, wing airfoil, essentially a flying wing. The span of this plane is 8 foot and 1 quarter inch and it has a length of 45 inches. It's powered by a brushless Scorpion S2-3020 1000 watt motor. It's ready to fly weight is with a 3S 3300 battery is 84 ounces or and that breaks down to about 9.2 ounces per square foot. I use aluminum to form the airfoil guides. Uh, you need to make a top and bottom one. In this case, there were eight different sets to make the wing panels. Um, these are cut out with a hot wire cutter um, and then shaped via the trailing edge and, and other shapes with uh, either a razor knife or a bandsaw. Uh, once I have the shapes initially made, I will install. I install carbon uh, fiber into the wing itself to add some stiffness to the design, um, and then I add the controls via, uh, in this case, four different servos. Two of the servos control the uh, elevator of the the airplane. That's the tail part. Um, it gives you up and down motion and left and right motion which uh, more or less uses the, this uh, to turn the plane. Uh, in addition to, you have two servos in the wings and they're set up to be what they call flaperons and flaperons allow you to adjust the angle up or down of both of the um, wing panels at the same time or they can be operated individually uh, so that you have a left and right turn. Now I have also set the radio up to have a um, link between the, the rudder and the ailerons and that gives you, you can then control both at the same time with one stick. or when I use ailerons, the tail works in conjunction with it. I find this bird seems to like uh, respond better to the tail than the, than the ailerons to some degree. Okay, here goes nothing. It's kind of breezy.
out so that I can see the scale yeah, of it as it I'm, approaches. I'm just taking the, all right, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to come, I really probably need to come in from the other direction because we're going to be, have the wind behind us and it's going to come in and fast and it's going to want to lose altitude because it's downwind. So let me, Don't hit me. That's pretty good. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Recording. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, electricity and water don't mix very good. I'm a little more comfortable with leaving the power on a little bit. Sure, oh yeah. Yeah, you don't want to stall it. Oh my God! Doesn't have a great I was going to try to get the... Ultra light too? Yeah, but I don't know where it is. Can't I can't do, see it. Can't do both. Bro. Yeah, right. That. Yeah. It's hard to do it with that close. I'm going to circle above us a little bit. <laughs> uh oh. Side gusher. <coughs> I got I lost it in the sun. I'll blame you. That was kind of tricky maneuvering there. And I'm just going to fly it. I'm going to start going around this fairly low and just keep it in this. Zoom in on it when it's this low if you will. Uh, I want it above you like that. I know that's hard. Let me get a little further away from you. Can you focus this thing at all? Or you... It should be self focused Okay. All right. Oh, no, you have to pop that 
like that. All right, let's get one more close to the water. And then I'll get one a little high and then I think I'll let you go. Ah, oh, I lost it. Right.